Hi, I'm Maria Langworthy, and I'm a learner who um, has been studying education around the world the last few years. And I'm incredibly excited to talk about um, some of the things I've seen around the world. And one thing I've noticed is um, when you go into classrooms today, apart from all the statistics, all the test scores, you're starting to see a whole lot of excitement. The learning is starting to explode. And it's tremendously um, passionate kind of learning, a new kind of learning that happens when teachers and students start to form new learning partnerships, when they have a real relationship with each other. Um, and we talk about this um, in a, a recent white paper that I wrote with Michael Fullen. It's called The New Pedagogies for Deep Learning, a Rich Theme, and it was sponsored by Pearson. Um, but we, we've tried to put some substance and some conceptual rigor behind what we saw going on in classrooms and schools and across increasingly regular education systems around the world. Um, and it starts, as I said, with the relationships between teachers and students when they really get to know each other and stop focusing on content delivery and more on learning and experience and doing things in the real world together. And when we talk about deep learning, it's these ideas of higher order skills or 21st century skills, but doing those in a way that really gives um, students experience of putting those into practice in a way that makes a difference in the world. And let me give you an example. It's one of my favorite examples. It was a project called H2O Heroes, fifth and sixth grade students in Michigan. Um, uh, they'd been studying the Earth's water systems and uh, the teacher challenged them to do something with what they'd learned that would have a positive impact on somebody in the world. The kids found a project called Project COPE that was um, focusing on rural Zambia. And they decided through Skyping with the founder of this project um, to buy an eco-dome toilet for uh, this, um, this village in Zambia. And in the last couple of weeks of school, they did all kinds of fundraising efforts um, and were able to raise $2,500 and shipped an eco-dome toilet to the, uh, the village. They got so excited about having this kind of impact in the world that the next year it spread to a school-wide endeavor to raise $10,000 to fund a tractor for the school, which they raised and it got funded, and they've now been recognized by the White House. It's an incredible story of what can happen when you use the power of technology in very structured ways to solve real problems in the world. And the kids and the teachers, the engagement in learning and the power of that and the self-confidence those kids get is simply unstoppable. And we're seeing more and more and more examples of this. School leaders, when they see this, get excited and want it to spread across their schools and system leaders as well. But it requires a different kind of leadership among school leaders. It really is about pr producing enabling conditions within the school, of sharing leadership, um, and creating those learning relationships between teachers, between teachers and leaders, between the broader community. It requires new kinds of measures of what success means, both at the student level, at the teacher level, and at the whole school level and system level. Um, the kinds of stuff we're talking about cannot be captured by standardized tests. Um, and it also requires deep pedagogical capacity on the part of teachers. Um, Building those relationships with all students is not always easy. And being able to design um, the kind of deep learning tasks um, that, that really explodes this kind of learning is, is uh, an acquired skill and something that teachers need to do in collaboration with each other. So this is what we're seeing all around the world. It's inevitable that this change is going to um, take hold. What we're excited about is that it's taking hold faster and faster and faster. Technology coming in to support this in these kinds of ways really does have an impact on learning that we haven't seen in the last decades. But we believe change is coming and it's going to be super fun and super exciting. Thank you.